All right, so here we have a question that says, how do you name the following QRS complexes or those complexes that represent ventricular depolarization? So this is nomenclature of the QRS complex. And I know this is sometimes a little tricky, but something we want to certainly understand so uh, we can make it. Because remember, those pathological Q waves are actually important, and we don't want to mistake those for S waves. And that was kind of my initial struggle when I was first learning. So I don't want you to fall in that same trap. So let's kind of take a look at here, okay? So we're naming the QRS complexes, okay? So are they QRS complexes, okay? Are they RS complexes, RSR prime complexes, QS complexes, or none of the above? So again, what you have to note here is, first of all, what are the QRS complexes, okay? And those are these here. You can see two of them, all right? This is a P wave. These are our generally QRS uh, complexes, and this is our T wave. Again, you have another one, QRS complex in T wave. And if I were to ask you, what is this one here? This is actually a T wave that's ending one of a previous um, cardiac cycle. Okay, you can kind of see that it looks like one that follows. So we're asking, what is the nomenclature of these complexes here? Okay, you can see they look alike. So let's just erase this so we have something clear to work with. Okay, so how do we name those? So there's a few things that I want you to know. All right, and that's kind of basic definitions. And that's the R wave. Okay, when we talk about an R wave, this is equal to the first positive deflection of a QRS complex, okay? So the first positive deflection, and you can see this is an R wave. Now I give it a small R wave because it has a small amplitude. Now what defines that small R wave or versus the big R wave is really subjective, all right? Next we have to know that we have can have Q waves, okay? And Q waves equal the first negative deflection of the QRS complex that follow oftentimes a P wave, all right, and they precede an R wave, okay? This is the very important thing. So they precede an R wave, all right? And the other one is the S wave, okay? And that's where you can see that we get the QRS complexes, okay? All this makes the QRS complexes. An S wave is a negative deflection of our QRS complex, but it comes after an R wave, okay? So after an R wave, that's key here. So we mentioned that we have an R wave in both of these complexes. That means we do not have a Q wave, okay? We said the Q wave precedes it, precedes an R wave, but we don't have it. But we have something that comes after it, and that's our S wave. So this here is an S wave, okay? Now you may see these notching here, this notching is what we simply call notching, okay? I know many get confused, what is that? And that's not an additional wave, that's just a notch in the S wave, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. So if you kind of put those together, you can see that we name these as an RS complex, okay? So that makes sense. We have the small R wave and then a big deep S wave, all right? So if you look here, that would be this one here, all right? So now if you wanna just kind of look at these, what would be a QRS complex? So this one here in the first one, okay? A QRS complex would be if you had this complex, imagine a P wave, you had a Q wave, an R wave, and an S wave, okay? So this is what we call a Q wave. It's the first negative. Remember, it's preceding the R wave, and then we have an S wave that follows, okay? So that's the QRS complex. Now let's look at the other ones, okay? We have an RSR prime. So that's the one thing we haven't heard yet. RSR prime, so an Imagine you have a P wave, then you have a small R wave, okay? Then you have an S wave, and then you have a, a positive deflection, okay? So again, P wave, this is an R wave, an S wave, and because we have an additional R wave, we call that an R prime wave, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. Now, another thing is, is when we have these QS complexes, okay? Which can mean that we may have a previous infarct, okay? That has occurred in a region, and that's what we have here. So imagine you have a complex, a P wave, and then our QRS complex looks like this, okay? Where you simply have deep Q waves, okay? No R waves or anything, but simply Q waves. And what you call this, if you just have Q waves, is a QS complex, okay? And those tend to be pathologic, all right? So you may have heard of pathologic R waves and uh, Q waves, and that's partly one of that. So again, just to recap, the, how do you name the fallen QRS complex that we see here, okay? And we said that we named them as an RS complex. So that's this choice here, all right? So that's the end of this lecture. I hope you learned something. 
Please don't forget to like this video and leave a comment below if you like what we're doing. In fact, many of you have asked how you could help us out. Really, the best way you could do is simply subscribe and share this resource with your friends. And you get free access to more than 300 videos. There is also a community of over 270,000 of us like-minded individuals on Facebook. So stop over and join the EKG Guys uh, Facebook community. Many of you have also asked some questions. Leave them below or share them on Facebook, and we can try to answer them with a short video so everyone else can learn. We also have a number of new courses with corresponding videos coming out soon, so stay tuned for those. Last but certainly not least, your feedback is incredibly helpful and your kind words are always an encouragement on those long days. So let us know how we're doing. Thank you again for your support. It is truly appreciated. We're the largest, fastest growing EKG resource in the world.